Hi everybody, and thanks for watching my video. Today I'm showing you a video of my replica sliders timer, the Egyptian style. Now I built this one as well as the original versions, and I tend to build only high-end, you know, quality props. And if I can get this in the light to reflect off of it somewhat, you can kind of get an idea of what I mean. I do all smooth edges, real clean jobs. You know, I try to get people what they're, you know, what the what they spend, you know. People work hard for their money. They want to get what they pay for. Now this one does have the rings around the brass bands on the emitters. And operation of this prop is, is fairly simple. No fumbling around for keys. This turns it on and off. Just press that twice really quick. I'm going to do that again for you so you can get a better look. Let's shut it off. And then back on. So to set the time, you'll use this button here. And to select a digit, you hit this one. This advances the numbers up. We'll go for 20 seconds, just for the sake of video. This also, again, hitting it after it's set, will activate the emitters. I'm going to stay on for a few seconds. If I was to go at a higher countdown, the emitters will stay on for 10 seconds and then go off. And they'll also come back on when there's 10 seconds left on in the time. Now, this timer also features a burnout routine, is what I call. It's when the timer does a random count on its own and you have to hit the emitter button before the count reaches zero. So, we'll start this again. And in the middle of this count, we'll activate the vortex again. So you can see it went off. Now it's coming back on. And it's going to give me a crazy number. 63 hours and 26 minutes and 30 seconds. Now, if you get tired of playing in the burnout routine, then all you have to do to reset it from burnout is press number 9 on the keypad and hold it for about 10 seconds. And you'll see the timer reset itself again. Okay, so now we can set another time in if we want. Let's go... Let's go 20 more seconds. Ideally, you can go all the way over here and set these digits as well. But again, this is just for the sake of a video, so I want to keep this as short as I can. Now we can also track a wormhole using this button here. And because of such a short count, it may or may not light up the wormhole button. Well, there we go, it did. Awesome. Now you can keep your timer running, but to save power, I recommend shutting the displays off when you're not using it. It will come back on automatically when it reaches the near end of the count. So to turn the displays off, you just simply hit the zero button on the keypad. And now your timer's, it's still running, it'll still count, even though we didn't start the count over, it'll count. And in fact, let's do that. And you'll see, a few seconds before zero, it pops back on. You don't have to worry about remembering to turn it on. Now another cool feature of my timer, I have regular batteries in here now, standard double A's, or triple A's, I'm sorry, but I usually use rechargeables, and I don't have any available, but even if your timer, say it was in the middle of a count, and the batteries got weak, there's a low battery warning and it beeps. And that's it. So, if you had weak batteries and you had a second set on standby, this gives you plenty of time to go grab them. 
and replace it and you won't miss a beat on the count. Get that close to the microphone. So again, if this were another set of batteries and your first one's died and you had to put those on a charger, grab you a second set, put these in, and you're good to go. Never lost any information. So if you have any questions about these timers, you know, give me a you know, put it in the comment section. If you like this video, then I would really appreciate a like. And if you're interested in purchasing one, just shoot me an email. My address is at the end of the video. Thanks for your time.